so uh, the controller which will actually help you okay uh, you know right the controller is something like uh, it will help you to do the automated things okay so the main logic which will be here and the helper which will support your controller okay uh, so there can be cases that you can uh, use helper without helper also there so but the main thing component controller and style if you want you are going for the some uh ui customization thing and if you want even your uh, thing so you can go with the style okay the remaining thing render design svg documentation these are not mandatory in all the cases but you can for each section will have the specific meaning okay so you guys know the render thing right uh, render is nothing but based on some condition uh, for example let's think if account status is active then display some table if account status is inactive then display some other table so what we are doing here actually depends on one condition so rendering is nothing but meeting the condition okay so when it is done then do some action then other thing is done do some other action okay so if you have like depends on your pure requirement these are the things you can use yeah hey, man so let me open the component so this is the one yesterday we have done okay now today uh, we have seen it right and i think we have added it to the ui also right yes yeah so it can i think i have added yeah here contact list for this so this label you can see it right this name uh, this label is nothing but that we have given here the title what we have defined for this lightning card okay so if you want we can change it that is something else okay and you know this id <clears throat> for education purpose we have given this account record id for this thing okay now the task is as of now you are not able to see what is the list account list for sorry contact list for this account okay now uh, in today's session that we are going to get the contacts here yeah. okay let's see how they are getting the contacts so retrieving the contacts yeah controller we have it yes so we have opened that as well okay so now we have opened so this controller name and all uh, whatever the name we have given to the component so for example uh, we have given the component name, name name as a my contact list so this is extended with the dot cmp that is component and controller it will append with the controller dot js js is nothing but javascript okay so in this controller the code which you are going to write is in javascript so yes. if you see the component thing here you have written in aura and the controller thing you will write in javascript okay so we have opened that in the javascript function so yeah so the thing is in javascript you will be having functions you will be having models you will be having like so how you will declare the same thing in uh your our component or in apex classes under uh, so here also we will declare the variables okay which will be assigned version something so the component is nothing but here you can see let, let me start from here okay first let me copy so what i did i just copied i will let me explain that so what i'm doing all the time like when i copy so i can see this is it's a, a bit clumsy okay it's not uh, properly designed here okay so what i did i select the control all i am fixing it fix identity so automatically it will go in a proper way so it's a symbol after that it's um, for better presentation nothing else okay so here the function name is my action okay and in javascript function will be function only okay 
so in apex you have the method right the methods and inside that you will have parameters yesterday i told you right so here also in javascript you will define a name for that function okay this is the name of the function and it will start with the function keyword and inside that you will be having component component is nothing but your this my contact list here and event helper okay these three are the same common things whenever if you create a new function also this is the same syntax you are going to use it okay now we are declaring a variable here that that variable name we have given as action here and it is getting assigned with the value of this okay component dot get so component is nothing but here i told you right this come my contact list dot get get of what this c dot contact get contacts okay this c what you can see here this is equals to this okay guys stating it no what is the mean of the c component okay here yeah, got it so component instead get of c can we use another letter no no what do i see this, this is the same here because it's come up with the the component we have defined it right the same thing here okay and so it's like uh, it is a predefined so we cannot change it we have to use no. c only yeah okay so that's why i guys i told to read this uh, developer documentation okay if we go through this uh, the, the naming conventions and the tags what we are using it will be useful here okay so since we are going through the trailhead na so you may get all the things or may not get all the things here but when uh, you go to this document you will get all the things okay so for this action so now action is this right for that set params so is nothing but uh, when you are in your apex when you are calling a method you will pass the parameters right so here also we need to pass the parameter so record id is one parameter that we have defined and that is nothing but the record id which we already set up here record id okay so here we already defined as record id so whatever the record id is loaded it will uh, i mean it will capture that record id and it will assign okay <clears throat> so here you can see set params set callback so set params that this will be used to define your params to pass to for a controller action okay and set callback it will return your values after getting called to a function or into the controller so the end results will be there right so that will get called here and we can assign component to set we are setting v dot contacts so this contacts is there right the variable we have defined yesterday okay so this is equals to this data dot get return value so this function we, what we have defined we are pass the data will be captured here and the end result will be assigned to v dot now getting what means this line from action dot set callback okay um, i think i close that is this is a function okay. call Wait, 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 wait. Anybody remember the class which we created yesterday? My contact list. Class in the sense the controller. Yes, my contact list controller. Okay. So it's a trying to explain you with this example. So what is this written? What it is, is the use of this? Like this method, what it will return when we are calling it. Yeah. So eventually, 
it's a in result of this method get contacts method right yes okay whatever is returning here it's similar to that that you are getting the sit call back so the in result get return value see this function okay so the data whatever passed in this controller so it will be returning so i mean when you make a call for example um from your mobile okay there is a hyperlink when you click on that so it will take you to some other page right so in back end what will be happening when you are trying to hit that button it will get uh, it will make a request request call okay that we are re requesting the other side to access it when they allow like it, the back end is set up like that and when the request has made successfully you will get a written response okay so when you are able to open that other side the response will be success and it will be with the code of 200 so general thing and you might have seen in some pages when you are trying to hit some link and it will open but throw you like uh, invalid id invalid page or uh, 401 something like okay that is the written response so that end result so, so we need to store it somewhere right so now what we are actually what we are doing they are getting uh contacts so i mean in general what is in oral if you ignore all this uh, set, setting up a function action all these things in general in this con uh, controller what they they will do is because <clears throat> they have defined the controller so this is the controller they had defined right so the control c is nothing but it's con controller okay i forgot sorry so it's a controller dot get contacts so if you actually go to your controller you have this get contacts so that is nothing but they are making a call from here controller yes. that get contacts control is nothing but this class okay and get contacts is the method okay so as i said yesterday you are calling this method i told right we need to pass this parameters also right yes so without these parameters it, this function will not be called right now so what is the parameter how many parameters they have here only one parameter okay that is record id so record id is the name what type with stuff type of id id type okay let's come back here see they are setting the parameters set params is a, a, a method they use to set up the parameters in here so record id because this record id only we are using here okay we are telling was this is the record id i am passing to you take it as your input here input as as of this okay so this record what is that id that we are passing is nothing but the record which is called we got these two lines right now yes but okay. uh, yes. my question here that i already used the semicolon then how it will means, sorry um in the first line i already used the semicolon then how it will take the parameters now we are setting it so see you already use the colon so that means this line is got ended so that is your question right then yes. how it will go can you see this variable yeah okay got it yeah okay so in yeah. that only we are setting it action dot so that means usually it will be extending to this okay so this we are uh, we are giving as an input here so we should also get the uh, output also right after supplying the input you will get something right so if you see in the your controller also it is a return they have already defined it as a return okay because we need to display the contacts if you get the contacts only you will display it. so that means you have to receive the output okay so for that we are setting the callback here clear 
why we use this yes okay and this we will use only at the time of it's a runtime thing okay at the time at the point of run uh, runtime the control uh, compiler is executing so that function only it will take it okay and function of data and component we are setting the return value okay it will give some results okay if, if you see it's a method and inside that method we are setting the return data get return so this is the variable that we have defined in the component contacts and this is the value that we are going to assign the end value of this function got it yes okay so let's save this okay so let's have what so there is one more thing that we we need to add it here okay so we have saved it on that so it's the same thing they are trying to explain this uh, the function will call the method get contacts method in the controller okay that we created yesterday okay so passing the record id so which is nothing but we are setting up here set params and it populates with the attribute name contacts the end results will be will be stored because this con attribute is nothing but the thing we already defined here so hope this is clear till here right yeah actually in the last line they are using the dollar sign a dot and q accents yeah so um, i'm waiting actually nobody asked this okay so if you th this should be there because you have written everything but how the compiler will know to execute this so we are enqueuing this action action is nothing but which which whatever you have set up earlier those all logic it will be enqueued and it will be executed Okay. Not hitting actually. Means like for every program we have to use NQ action. Yes, yes. Not in, so not only action. If you for example, this is a variable. The function is a function name here. I'm asking that dollar uh, a dot nq action that one. Yeah, nq action, yes. So inside that it's not you cannot put you can put anything. Instead of this action, I can put X Y Z. So yeah. then again X Y Z here. Then again X Y Z here. Okay, it means like it. it is pretty fine thing. Like we have to always call this. Yes. Okay. In a general way, we can say like we are calling the function here. Correct. After that whole program. Yes. Okay. So if you remove this, what is there? Tell me. Okay, let's go here. For example, if this is not there. Okay, nothing here. Can you read the remaining thing? It's just typing the characters and all. How so to execute this overall thing, to execute this function and that. so you need to define this in Q action. So this action will be queued whenever it calls from your component, then it will be executed. So there is one more tag in the component tab. They are trying to add markup the lost at tag. So can I even explain this? What this let me take out. So just match the things at least. See we so here you know like this is the action we are specifying. Okay, the action will be called here. Where it will get called. See controller, you know. Okay. If you go to the controller, okay. Uh 
so my action it is already defined so, so the same means... thing we are calling it here so but this action that we are assigning the value here there is nothing apart from that so you can see the handler this is the standard thing okay for making the handler thing getting the value and all it is there my action whatever you have defined this so you will be calling it from here so that value of this entire thing will be copied there got it so we are calling that my action function inside this component yeah it's so so if you see this intact right or yeah intact Yes. So yes. whatever you write inside that, all this will be your inside the component only. And what is this? This here, uh, like uh, in a general way, this is the keyword. Yeah. So not not only keyword. So it's a uh, at the time of execution, what is there? That value it will capture. And when we use the dollar sign, the global thing. So, so okay. So you have what do you have in uh, Salesforce? the global things how we will call like in uh, other programming in, it, a constructor no you in, can define in it um, when you want to use it so the attribute what we have defined right so they are given the, the expression also here this will identify the event which is fired when the, so basically for eventually this entire component to fire so there is a record some some record will cause right this action interaction so it will get captured in the record id and whenever you use this in it all these functions it will only work by taking that uh, record id nothing else for particular record id we will use this yeah so that is uh, that is what yesterday I told. So this as record ID if you mention. So this will be uh, based on the record ID thing. But at this point of time, as I told earlier, so you will not get all the clear picture. When we have done entire thing, then it will be simple. Okay. So what we have done till now, and it's, it's like just two lines. Okay. Create a component where it will call it a controller. From controller, you pass the record ID and get the contacts. That's it. And this for displaying, yes. Got it. It's a single line statement, actually. Yeah. I'm going to give like same exercise once uh, completing this model, OK? So be prepared. If you are getting doubts, clarify it. And practice is twice, thrice till you get it and read this like so for example so how you will basically learn so these tags and all are there okay what is this aura or a colon component why we need to use this okay because the our component framework has design designed like that so we if you mention some xyz and you execute it it will not allow you to even save it okay so there are so it's kind of fun template. OK, whatever they have defined there, we need to follow that. And inside that, you do whatever you want. But at least the Outlook template, whatever it looks like. So you tell them, but this is the Outlook, OK, that you should follow the same thing. So inside what you put, you put Apple, you put Banana, it's done mine. OK, you can put anything there. So that is what happens. So the actual logic, where it lies? Can anyone tell me what? where is the actual logic we have written? Yeah, in the JS and the, the actual logic is here. Component. In the controller. This in is, the controller, only we are showing the records now. So in the controller, this is not a logic. We are supplying, we are giving input. To do the the calculation and everything lies here. These are the inputs. And this component, how you want to uh, show the page, like it's the UI thing. Yeah, and for the UI, you we can write a logic. 
means in the js yeah, yeah. yeah so if we don't want to call these functions and like multiple functions i want to just execute so but here you cannot define this right you need to get the uh, contacts based on the id so on page load you will not get that you need to call out do a call out pass the input and get that so there are certain scenarios and like you can do if else things yeah, yeah. so th that will be there so so far in the bundle list you said right we could try top right so so far we have got only two actions like one is component and controller next helper and style uh, no that's what so as i said helper is not a mandatory thing okay style so you are already getting the uh, kind of thing here it is plain lightning record okay so it's a ui thing so other than this you want to define some other styles so there might be like some requirements said right? i want this width only i want this only like the ui things mostly the what we can say the styling things so for that you will use css okay be ready to learn multiple languages here okay let's did we save okay no doubts so the rendering so what we have done so we are going to use the render thing here in the um, bundle is there right so either we can go to the render or you can define uh, with the condition if if condition and you can render it that is also there uh okay uh, 